Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Yep, it's Sunday morning and my little wife is in church. You might even be able to hear the uh, singing in the background. Uh, I'm here at La Paya as usual. And as you can see, looks like we're gonna have a fantastic day. And there's a star. <laughs> well, I was thinking this morning, you know, my wife brought to my attention uh, yesterday. No matter of son, uh, possibilities of winning to be prince for the fourth grade in his school. For well, this year's uh, program, uh, the proceeds are to be applied to uh, not only painting the school, but hopefully getting internet for the school. Um, uh, so we don't know how that'll go. We just have to see, they just have to see how much money they actually put together. But also, in the process, of my son's possibility of winning, uh, Grace informed me there is one other child that might have a better chance. Huh. His parents have, um, are of um, an upper style of living. They recently had moved here in the area and, uh, and are basically financially secured. Uh, maybe not wealthy, wealthy, but enough to where that uh, it's a possibility that they could uh, raise enough funds to make sure that their son wins to be prince. Now, all this stuff is done in private. Uh, the envelopes are sealed uh, when they are turned in. So, I still have in my heart feeling that Virgil might have a really decent chance of winning. Because he, he really wants to <clears throat> do this. He he was in, uh, it wasn't last year, I think it's been several years back, I think it was either first or second grade. He uh, experienced being able to walk up there and uh, not being a prince, but he wanted to be the one wearing the crown. Uh, the little guy is, uh, I'm really proud of him because he's not so shy. You know, when I was in school, you know, I was kind of shy natured, uh, but still outgoing. You know, I still, I didn't get to run for prince or king or anything like that. Uh, but I wasn't that shy. But I'm, I'm proud of him for not being uh, very shy. You know, that's that's a good ex thing. I, I really believe it will help him in life. I'm going to stand up here. <laughs> Such a beautiful morning. But also, you know, I'm looking at the outcome. Uh, the school getting something that's actually necessary. And you know, the teachers have been using uh, their phones uh, to download uh, uh, school programs from home and so forth. And... Uh, also at home, downloading it to her laptop. Uh, and I'm sure it's a, it's a struggle because they can't do uh, uh, the things in the classroom that uh, be more efficient. Uh, so, I, you know, I, hopefully they get what they want. Hopefully they... There's enough funds available to do this, and I'm kind of, I really like for Virgil to win. Uh, I like to see that, you know, and make me um, proud. Uh, me and Grace, we're not going to personally throw money into it. We'll probably put 30 or $40 in, something like that. Uh, that'd be about the 
about the limit, if that much. Probably closer to 20, to be honest with you. Christmas is coming up, and we got a lot of things we like to do at Christmas, as y'all are well aware of. But uh, that's what's on the agenda. Yeah, I'm walking around a little bit this morning, trying to get my morning stretch in. You know, um, I was thinking about a time years ago when my daughter was probably 13, might have been 14, I can't remember exactly now, it's been so long. A turning point in her life. Her and her mother was out shopping. And, uh, Unfortunately, she did something that I was strongly against. I mean, very strongly against. She actually was in a store. I'm not going to name the store. And uh, she stole a pair of earrings. They weren't expensive. They was only about, I think, around $6 or something like that. If, in that area. But when I found out about it, I uh, set Susan down and uh, I said, now we got to determine a remedy for this and a punishment. And I said, you're not going to like it. I'm not going to spank you. I'm not going to give you a big lecture. But I'm going to teach you a lesson. And she said, what is that, Dad? I said, man, you're going to go back to that store. You're going to take those earrings. You're going to put them on the counter and apologize to the cashier and ask to speak to the manager. I want you to apologize to the manager. And we're going to pay for those earrings and leave them behind. Oh, you've seen her face. She dreaded that. So it was exactly what we did. I took her back to the store. And she goes up to the cashier. She hands those earrings to her. And she apologizes. And I pay for the earrings. I said, I'm going to pay for them even though you got them back. I said, I'm going to pay for them. Because this was wrong. And I'm teaching my daughter a lesson. And she requested to speak to the store manager. She asked, uh, she talked to the store manager, I was there with her, she, she says she's sorry, and I told her, I said, I went ahead and paid for the earrings, by the way. And I said, what do you think we ought to do in this case? She looked at me, the store manager did, she said, Mr. Smith, I honestly got to say, this is probably the worst punishment you could ever give a child for doing something like this. I don't think I'm going to do anything. See, because I'm sure she probably learned a lesson, something that stick with her a lifetime. I said, I feel the same way. And I appreciate you being this way and being lenient. Anyway, to this day, Susan has never done anything like that again. And she's been a very productive person. Person. She's got worth work ethics similar to mine. She's a workaholic. <laughs> uh, right now, as you know, she's uh, actually doing work at home, work online at home, and taking care of her uh, husband's grandmother at the same time. She's got her hands full. Plus, she's got two teenage daughters of her own that she has done an excellent job. I mean, the my grandbabies, well, they're not babies anymore, <laughs> uh, 15 and 16, uh, they are doing excelling in school. I'm so proud of them because they're doing something that I couldn't apply to my own daughter. For I'm not going to get into details, but I, I wanted my daughter to do well in school. But she's doing well now. But anyway, folks, you've heard me rattle on and going about a life event and so forth. If you watched this far, 
enjoy enjoy your day and don't forget to subscribe and thanks again